drought this summer, but seriously, beginning of September, there has been torrential downpours. Just look at this while we're away on holiday in the Cotswolds. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of grass that needs cutting if it's like this at home. Yeah, at least the grass will be green. Still pouring down. So after that torrential downpour, open the window and the suns are shining. Only in England. Good old England. Good morning. Morning. Um, well, we've got a beautiful day today. We've woke up to some wonderful weather after a horrendously bad night last night with the storms, wasn't it? Oh my goodness. And the thunders. The, the thunder, the rain on the top of the motorhome. Oh my goodness, it was so loud. Um, I was tempted to film it, actually, the, the, the sound, but... No, uh, you would have woke me up. Yeah, I know. I, I just turned over and went back to sleep. Yes. Um, right, so it's an early start. Yeah. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah, we've booked to go to Adam's Farm. It's Adam Henson's Cotswold Farm Park. We actually uh, met him, didn't we? <clears throat> Briefly. Yes, um, when we were going to do our rally, which never happened because of Covid and the pandemic and everything, um, Adam very kindly gave us a family ticket um, as one of our raffle prizes, which obviously never got used, so thank you Adam for that. Um, uh, but um, Adam, uh, he's, he's a passionate farmer. He's a regular presenter on uh, BBC's Country File on a Sunday. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to his farm. Uh, they've also got a campsite there. Um, ha well, it's the first time we've been, so it'll be interesting to see if we can just have a little look round. Um, but it seems like a really nice day out for all the family. So let's get on the road. It's early, it's about half nine. Uh, we left early because the weather's nice and it's forecast rain later on this afternoon. Um, so we'll get there. It's about 40, 45 minutes from where we're staying. So we'll see you very shortly. There's our bell. Look at this beautiful view. Absolutely gorgeous. Ample parking here. Free parking included in the price of your ticket. Very popular. Quite early, uh, it's a Monday morning and we're just queuing to get in. We have bought our tickets online in advance. Uh, I think they were about £12.50 each, so not too expensive, quite a good value I think. campsite just over there is as you walk in it's to the left of the farm so it's right next door to it unfortunately we can't access that because um, you've got to be staying there so as you can see it's literally right next door <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 
He's just a big kid, isn't he? <laughs> These little cuties having a little bite to eat. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Um, I'm really not interested unless you've got food for me. Feed me. Are you feeding them, Shell? Oh, what have we got? Oh, looky, looky, what have we got? Oh, I caught him on the head. <laughs> Come on, Liv. Who wants feeding? Here we are, here we are. There we go. And some more for you. And some more. There you go. Oh, and what about you guys over there? Shall yeah, we see if we can reach own. you? God. There you go. There you go. Right there in the middle of the field is Prince and he's the bull here. You certainly wouldn't want to argue with them. Uh, he's, he's certainly a big boy, isn't he? So here we've got Daisy, the cow, and over, uh, over here Doris. we've got Doris and Keith is going to try and milk her. What? Yeah, yeah. Make sure you've got warm hands. Oh, I've got warm hands. Oh, I've got a little... Okay. you got your milking stool. Got my milking stool. What have I got to do? Well, you've got to pull the teats until the milk comes oh, out. hello. Yeah, well, hello. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, well done. Ooh. Oh, no, that's not normal. <laughs> no, 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 I'll let you have a go. Right. right. Go on, Doris. I'm on right. my milking stool. Let's have a go. I haven't done this before. Oh, look. See, that's how you do it. You pull down like that. I think. Not that I've ever milked a cow. <laughs> it's actually not milk, it's water coming out. <laughs> but you get the general impression. <laughs> oh, that's good fun. <laughs> Say hello to all our viewers. We're going to say hello to all those viewers of Carefree Caravaning and Motorhoming. Oh, no. How cute is this? It's a little guinea pig village. Oh, look, he's having a little drink of water up in the back. So, fast asleep in this pen, we've got the Berkshire Pigs. And the Berkshire Pig is the oldest recorded pedigree pig in Britain. Hmm, rather tired by the looks of it. Hello? Hello? Are you going to wake up for us? No, just twitching your ears and wiggling your tail. Okay, we'll leave you in peace. They are. Come on then, darling. They're... Oh, look at you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's a bit messy, isn't it? 
Oh, you're messy. Oh, 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 oh. I think that's all gone, darling. All gone, all gone now. All gone. Oh, you're a greedy one. Oh, you're a greedy one. That's it. There you go. Yeah. You like that? Yeah? You know, you can't take it with. Oh. Oh, you are greedy. feeding um, of the animals twice a day. Um, <laughs> God, you need eyes in the back of your head for this lot. <laughs> right, so just go and put the bottles back, go to wash our hands, and then we've got another show to watch. There you go. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Can I just say? <laughs> We've just um, had a demonstration. All right, darling. Okay. Yeah. We've just had a demonstration about sheep throughout the ages, um, starting from thousands of years ago. And uh, there's one Cotswold sheep here. is from the Roman period. I'll show you him in just a second. Um, his fleece used to be really valuable and would be taken to market. Um, but so that people didn't open the fleeces. Um, they would just leave a long fringe on the sheep so that um, people could just test the wares instead of opening all the pieces. Really, really interesting demonstration by Graham and Amy. Uh, so these sheep, uh, they're from, well, obviously they're not thousands of years old, but their breeds are from thousands of years old. Going oh, back further than the Bronze Age. Are you a hungry bunny? You're not a bunny. Are you a hungry little sheep? with his long fringe. They don't trim the fringes, even to this day. And yeah, absolutely beautiful creatures. Aren't you? Aren't you lovely? Yes, you are. And this is an unusual one. He's got four horns, haven't you? Yes. Yes, I wouldn't want you running towards me. It just nearly caught me with his horn. <laughs> There you go. Right, one more for you. And then that's your lot. Go here. Then. There you go. <laughs> and time to wash the hands again. <laughs> As you can see, they've got loads and loads of sinks. There's this side and the other side, uh, paper towels. Uh, that was a really, really interesting demonstration. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a fantastic place for families to come with children. Um, really informative and to get to feed the babies as well that was incredible right hands done let's carry on Cotswold stone, huge piece of it. Everywhere throughout the Cotswolds, all the buildings, all the little walls, they've got this beautiful golden honey coloured stone. I love it. Look at all these hungry mouths to feed. Anyone would think they haven't been fed. They just know what's coming. Right, mister. Well, that was quick. You didn't even. That's it. Put some more. Yeah? <laughs> look, some at, more. look at his beard. <laughs> yeah, you want some more? Is that lovely? Right, what about your mates? You're going to be greedy and have a few more then. Oh dear. 
someone's feeling left out. What about me? Great day, wasn't that? This is a fabulous day out. We're just in the little wooded area. It's like a little wooded glade, and there's a conservation area. Oh, something on my back. Hang on, I'm sitting on. Some, oh, I saw all this food. Oh, all we're... the feed left. <laughs> we haven't used up our food. <laughs> These animals are well fed. They are so. Well um, yes, yeah, so fabulous uh, family day out. Loads of things for kids to do here. Uh, there are lots of families visiting today. Uh, lots of different play areas, uh, play equipment, uh, lots of interactive um, activities for children to do. Yeah. I mean, we're not kids. I mean, we're far well, from kids. We are, we are at heart. <laughs> we, we are at heart. But yeah, as Michelle said, a lot of uh, young mums with their young, young babies as well, which is lovely to see. Yeah. Um, lots yeah. of eating places, lots of outdoor picnic yeah. areas. Uh, lots, as I said earlier, lots of places to wash your hands, toilet facilities. Um, yeah, this fantastic is great day fun out. day out. For, you know, fun family day out, isn't it? Yeah. For, oh, so highly, highly recommend this one. Yes. So um, we've been really lucky with the weather. It's literally just started to rain. Well, it was just so. spitting, wasn't it? Just a little bit. Yeah, getting a little bit damp. Um, but so we're, we're just going to go to the gift shop. Oh, no. <laughs> That'll no. probably take about another hour. Oh, and um, cost the fortune. Yeah, and then we'll start making our way home. We don't need the cat won't won't like it. I was thinking for our granddaughter to do yeah. next year. I've just been told off for looking at baby clothes again. <laughs> it said, our granddaughter's got enough clothes, she doesn't need any more. She has. But look! What a beautiful array of clothing. Oh look! Oh God, I've got to stop myself really hope you've enjoyed that yeah. definitely recommend a day out at um, Adam Henson's Cotswold Absolutely. Farm Park and I think on that note we shall say thank you so much for watching and until the next time see you bye 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 now <laughs>